All right, so I've got this old pocket bike here and an old jerry can. So what I'm thinking is, let's trip the bike down, stuff it inside the jerry can. The wheelbase is gonna have to be stretched a bit. So probably not cutting the uh, frame just behind the wheel here and stretch the cord, but I think that's gonna be pretty cool. So here's my concept I've come up with. I'm really liking the low compact look. I think it's gonna be awesome. So there was a mention of having eight hangers, but I think it looks good with those little short handlebars on it. So uh, yeah, this thing's gonna be pretty wicked. So there it is all stripped down, not much to it, now we'll see how close, look at that, it'll hide in there just fine won't it? Alright so first thing I'm going to do is to be cut through here, cut these pegs off and then I'll um, cut the bottom of the jerry can off slide it on and see where I want that to finish. So if I cut it from the outside, pull the bottom piece off, because that's all just folded over, and then I can rivet it back together. It's a much That's it, all off. She's a pretty good solid uh, jerry can, eh? So I've done the best to force it in there. Gives me a fair idea of where it's going. Looks pretty good, low ground clearance. I think that'll do the job, eh? Won't even see it. So I got that pretty close. The other side. Yeah, hold on with that. As long as it clears the chain, I'm happy. Alright, so I've got that mocked up. I've got some rebars uh, cut and bent. So I think I'll pull that apart get them fitted and just see where I need to cut them. Squeeze that a bit more so it can sit there. That's going to be pretty cool. So I've got my rebar, I bent it up, welded it on and uh, just going to put another bend in here to tie it in there and then put a plate in between to bolt into. Should be plenty strong enough. Um, I was going to make this a big triangle here but I wanted to drop that down to give them more clearance so I can turn and get the fuel cap open. So I'm going to put a slight bend in it here to follow down and then I'll put a plate in here and that triangle and then a couple of bolts and that'll hold it. Alright so I've got that welded up with the plate. Um, I may leave this without a brace at the moment, just keeps it a bit more open. And uh, it's looking like it might be and I'll put one in. So we just need to drill some holes for some bolts. And uh, it's the front end done. Alright so next up I've got the uh, handlebars to do. I th what I'm thinking is put a sleeve over it, I can weld to this, put a brake lever on it and put a throttle on the other side and uh, gets me a nice rusty handlebar.
Okay, this is where I'm at now. Got the brakes. Got the throttle. And that's captive as well. Got the stays. Pull starts in. I've put a spacer on the sprocket to push it out and just clears. So the next thing is pull everything out and put some foot pegs in and a fuel tank. So I've cut these candy canes and drill a couple of holes, stick them through. One side will weld to the other one and they can weld them to the fury can. My initial idea was to put a fuel tank in behind the filler nozzle so I can undo that and get to my fuel tank but there's just not enough room. So instead I'm going to put it up the top and just put a fuel cap on top. So the jury bike's all done. I've added a kill switch. Some vents on the front. Uh, it's not much, but it'll be enough for short trips. And the base, I've bolted that back on. So she's fully complete. Time to take it for a test ride, eh? This thing's turned out to be quite a little weapon. Handled so much better than I thought it would, so much more capable, and it uh, looks bloody awesome, eh? So, uh, this is going straight to the pool room and then make room for the next build. We'll see you then.